<laughs> All right, so sharing a little positivity, and I saw this on the news last night, and I'm like, this is an awesome story. So four couples at a retirement home right here in Fresno, they decided to renew their vows yesterday for Valentine's Day. One couple had been married for 50 years, another couple had been married for 66 years. They traveled the world together, and the one thing that Ellie said, she says, the key to our marriage and the success that we've had is having that conversation before walking down the aisle. Talking about serious things like money and children before you get married makes a difference. Yes. So, I thought yes. that was beautiful, especially on Valentine's Day. Carmen, what's good? For that, for that many years, obviously, we oh, oh gotta take this advice. Hey, you know what? Have that real conversation. I give you guys this awesome story. So, a fifth grade boys basketball team in New Jersey just scored a huge moral victory. So cool. So, these boys are out of St. John's Elementary School, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and they were told that their co ed team could not exist. It's a violation of a Catholic League rules, right? So they had to ditch either their female players from the team or ditch the season. Uh, okay. The boys said, you know what? We're going to back up our girls who can play basketball. Hey, we know they can play basketball because they've played a few games already. Right. And we're going to just ditch the whole season. So they nice. ditched the whole season to defend the girls and get this. It was one of the prayers, by the way. They said, we're all here today supporting the girls and having this fun game. It's been a great season, and it's been a fun having all of you guys.